I'm Matthew Stevenson. There are many commonly used engineering devices all throughout the world. Today, we're going to take a look into one of the more commonly used items, and they are called pressure regulators. What are pressure regulators? Pressure regulators operate off a pipeline and intake high pressure fluid or gases and decrease the pressure as they pass through. Regulators can be automatic, pre-tuned, or manually controlled. Pressure regulators can deliver variable release pressure depending on the model and situation. Pressure regulators control fluctuating or dangerous pressures of gases and liquids and reduces them down to a usable or safe level depending on the situation. Pressure regulators can also operate as a safety valve by automatically cutting off flows of liquids and gases once a certain pressure has been reached within the system. So where do you find pressure regulators? You can find pressure regulators in many different settings. The most common ones are air compressors, gas bottles, hot water systems, mains water supply, oxyacetylene blow torches, scuba tanks, and in industries where a fluctuating gas or liquid pressure needs to be controlled in order to be used safely. So how do they work? Come, we'll take a closer look. All pressure regulators consist of three main elements. A restrictor element, which throttles a passage the inflow gas must flow through. A loading element, which applies force to the restricting element. And thirdly, a measuring element, which determines when the system reaches equilibrium. This is most often a diaphragm, which, acting like a lung, expands and contracts according to the pressure in the chamber. The user can adjust the output flow by using the pressure adjustment handle. This is done by manually adjusting the screw. This determines the pressure required for the diaphragm to rise. By increasing the distance, the restrictor valve has to move to close. A further distance means more pressure, which means a higher output flow. For this particular case, the diaphragm is acting as the measuring element, and the diaphragm, combined with the loading spring, provides the force required to close the valve. Ready to find out how it all works? Without any gas flowing, the force of the restrictor spring pulls the valve open. As gas begins to flow in, pressure builds up in the chamber. As the pressure builds, it forces the diaphragm upwards. If the pressure in the chamber reaches a certain point, the diaphragm will rise completely, forcing the restrictor valve closed and halting the gas flow. As the gas in the chamber begins to exit, the pressure decreases in the chamber, lowering the diaphragm and opening the valve again. This process continues until the chamber flow is in equilibrium. The user can adjust the output flow at any time, if and when the demand for pressure changes so that describes a single stage regulator. There is, however, another type of regulator, and that is a double stage regulator. A double stage works off exactly the same principles as the first one. However, for a double stage, the inflow must pass through two sets of diaphragms and restrictor valves. One valve is preset, the other can be manipulated at any time. This type of regulator can handle higher pressures as the inflow is reduced drastically by the first stage and then reduced even further by the second stage. In case of a major fluctuation in gas pressure coming from the inflow, one or both valves will instantly close, preventing a catastrophic blowout or an accident from occurring. The double stage regulator is considered the safest, albeit more expensive option when installing a pressure regulator for a project. And that's an introduction into pressure regulators. For any young budding mechanical engineers out there, you'll encounter these devices a lot, so I hope you learnt heaps. I'm Matthew Stevenson, thanks for watching.